Hey, yo, E King Fight News. Dyson Fury confirms Deontay Wilder negotiations close to being finalized. Forget about AJ. We got the lineal championship right here. Wilder versus Fury. Let's hear what Fury had to say, guys. E King Fight News. Hi, guys. Um, just a quick one. I can confirm that me and Deontay Wilder are in negotiations um, very close to being done. Uh, Frank told you all on uh, Talk Sport this morning, uh, the breakfast show, whatever it was, I'm not too sure. But um, it is out there now, and I can reveal that negotiations have been very strong for December. All right, so y'all heard that, right? Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, close to being done for December. And forget about AJ. Forget about AJ. He can stay over there with Pavekin. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, not only that. Not only that. But news has surfaced for all those still questioning the Wilder 50 million offer. It's been confirmed yet again by Frank Warren, who said, you know what? Anthony Joshua, he didn't just turn down 50 million. He turned down 80 million, guaranteed, to fight Deontay Wilder in a two-fight deal. 50 million guaranteed in the first fight, and 30 million guaranteed in the second fight. Now, if you ask me, somebody do the math. Somebody has to do the math. 50 mil plus 80 mil, yeah? For two fights. It, isn't that what, what, that's, and, and, and that's not including no pay-per-view, nothing like that at all. In those two fights, Anthony Joshua can easily gross the 100 million pounds that he allegedly signed for to renew his uh, fights with Matchroom, Matchroom Sport. In two fights. So you you really wonder why Eddie Hearn didn't want him to take that money. You really wonder why, because Eddie Hearn must have realized, Eddie Hearn must have realized he can't offer him more to stay with Matchroom than he's gonna make in these two fights. And that's over three years. So, um, AJ got scammed, man. AJ got scammed once again. I don't know if he realized it, but he just turned down more money than any other heavyweight in boxing history. <laughs> so that, that's a duck on some other level, man. That's some, that's some next level ducking. That's some next level ducking right there. Confirmed by Frank Warren, who's negotiating with Team Wilder as I speak. And there you have it, man. Brilliant, brilliant news coming in. And as and this at the same time, Eddie Hearn's still trying to convince Deontay Wilder to fight on the zone for what, eight million? Seven, eight million? <laughs> and, and, and in the meantime, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder are setting up something very big for for both of them to try and come together, make a mega fight happen on US soil. And, and they can make a they can make a boatload of money together, man. Both of those guys, Tyson Fury, the way he talks, the way he can hype up a fight, and Deontay Wilder, those two guys can make a boatload of money together. So, I mean, we're gonna see how it all pans out, man. Uh, hopefully these negotiations come through. Is Tyson Fury a man of his word? Because he said, you know what? You offer me anything anything like a 50 million deal? Hey, we got a fight on our hands. You know, he, he's not messing around. He's not, he's not, you know, tr moving the goalposts, trying to make new stipulations, make new rules as you go along. No. Tyson Fury is willing to fight because he's a, he's a real champion. And, and he's got to prove himself as well. He's, he's had his own time off. And, and we gotta know who the best is. So this is this is great news. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Make that fight happen. Make that fight happen ASAP. 
Uh, it, it's great for boxing. That's just great for boxing all around. And if, if, if you want to sit here and hate on the fight, go ahead. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. But we're not done. But wow. I, you know, I didn't expect this to go this smoothly. Because I know, I know Wilder mentioned he's working on something big. I think it was last month in that in that Brendan Schaub interview. But you know, he, he was real hush hush about it. He was real quiet about it. So you know, now really things are coming to light, and, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Tyson Fury just confirmed it. Frank Warren confirmed it. They're both trying to make a Deontay Wilder fight. And that's what you gotta do, man. How many, how many fake ass statements do we see in the media about this whole situation? Fucking zero. Flat, nothing. Zero, guys. So what does that tell you? Frank Warren, Tyson Fury, they're actually interested in making a fucking fight. Unlike Eddie Hearn, unlike Anthony Joshua who had something to say to the press, Damn near every week. Damn near every week Eddie Hearn had something new to come out with the, to the press with as an excuse not to fight Wilder. Oh, we gotta fight Dillian White. Wilder's gotta fight Dillian White first. Oh, we need more than eight week training camp. Oh, we can't fight at Wembley. We can't fight at Wembley. No, not in September. <laughs> oh, you know, it's like, like we heard it all. So... So we all know what it is, man. If, if this Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight happens, you all know what it is. Bitch ass Eddie Hearn duck the fight. AJ's corny ass duck the fight. And that's why they're fighting Pavekin. So it is what it is, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys, man. If you haven't already, you better subscribe, man. You better sub okay, anyways, man. Wilder. You know, something else about Deontay Wilder, Dominic Brazil came out and said, Hey, Dominic, hey, Wilder, why are you ducking me? I'm your mandatory. You see, you see how it all comes together? Wilder doesn't want that Brazil fight, or, or else Brazil would know. Brazil's out here training for, <laughs> training for Deontay Wilder, anticipating a phone call that is <laughs> never fucking happening. Hey, Brazil, you know who you can fight? Fight Luis Ortiz. That's what I want to see. Dominic Brazil, you looking for a fight? Fight Luis King Kong Ortiz. And that, that could be a final eliminator. If, if, that's, if, that's if you're still looking for someone to fight. Talking about, talking about someone's got to pay. Make Luis Ortiz pay. That's what I'm talking about, man. You can't fight news. That's just what it is, man. Fuck Dillian White. Fuck Derek Chisora. And fuck Anthony Joshua. You know what? I take it back, man. Derek Chisora is a warrior. He did what Anthony Joshua couldn't do. He knocked Carlos Takam smooth out. Knocked him the fuck out. Me, Chris Tucker. Hey, you got knocked out the fuck out, man. <laughs> that, that's what it is, man. Carlos Takam got knocked out. So shout out to Derek Chisora for that one, man. He took care of Carlos Takam. Don't have to hear about Carlos Takam anymore. And that's the guy that should have went 12 with Anthony Joshua. Fucking referee jumped in there way too soon in that fight. So it is what it is, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hit that bell icon as well. And we're out, guys, man. Peace out.